देवदेव कलयामी देवदेव कलयामी ते चरण भुज सेवन देव देव 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 कलयामी भुवन त्रयनायक भुवन त्रयनायक भुवन त्रयनायक भूरी करुणया मुवन त्रयनायक भूरी करुणया माम भवदीलो वारम भवदीलो देव कलयामी जत रूप निभचेल जन्मा चित मिल जत रूप निभजेल जन्माचित मखिल पातक संचय वीर बारय करुणय दिति जाली विदलन दीन बंधो मिति जाली विदलन दीन बंधो म श्रुत विभूद साल श्री पद्मनाभ शौरे श्रुत विभूद साल श्री पद्मनाभ शौरे देव देव कलयामित चरण भुज सेवन देव देव कलयामी नड़दिव एल कलाविदर्गू नमस्कार कलारसिकरीगू नमस्कार नम गुर सुधींद्र सर श्री मुश्रम राजाराव सरवर कृष्ण सरवर एलू सह नमस्कार दिन नानु यह टापिकन मायमाव गौड़ आगद कृत प्रारंभम कारण इत मायमाव गौड़ रग अट इस वन आफ द मोस्ट वन आफ द फस्ट रग दट वि आर् इंट्रड्यूस टू ऐस स्टूडेंट्स आफ म्यूजि ई हव आफन वंडर्ड वै इट इस दिस रग अंड वै नाट The major scale as sa re ga ma pa da ni sa Shankara Bharna. All day ne, ee one to raga vanna aike maate gudu dukkhe karana gali ye ni dhir bhoodu. Because usually adu aas varagalana hidi odu easy agathe because harmonium na metal nalli all white keys adhe. Adhari in the white keys na follow maat kon hodhre C pitch nalli you will get all the white notes. But namma sangeeta dalli naavu one to minor scale adhan tha maya maalava gavala vanna. आय्केमको अदरली नमें 
ಟ್ರೈನಿಂಗ್ನ ಕೊಡಲಾಗತ್ತೆ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಫನ್ ಬಿಲೀವ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಫುಲ್ ಪ್ರೂಫ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಆರ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಂಗಿಂಗ್ ವೋಕಲ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಒಂದು ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವೋಕಲ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಅನ್ ಆಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಒಂದು ವಯಲಿನ್ ಮೇಲೆ ನಿನ್ನ ಸ್ವರ ಅಪಸ್ವರ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಒಂದು ಮೇಲೆ ಹಿಡಿಬೇಕು ಕೆಳಗೆ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಒಂದು ಗಿಟಾರ್ ಫ್ರೆಟ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಶೋ ವೇರ್ ದ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಒಂದು ವೀಣೆ ಮೇಲೆ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ನೋಟ್ನ ತೋರಿಸ್ಕೊಳ್ ತೋರ್ಸೋಕ್ಕೆ ಅವಕಾಶ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಬಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ವೋಕಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ದ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ನೋಟ್ ಆನ್ ಅ ಟೋನಲ್ ಗ್ರಾಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಆಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವಿತ್ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಿಸ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ a lot of practice with respect to one reference point which is the sub which keeps varying with every pitch so when the reference point of sa na itkondo the assessment of the distance between the notes ri ga ma this study of this distance and the study of the practice of assessment of distance between the notes is one of the most systematic in carnatic music um this is one of the uh, experiences that i have this is a conclusion that i have come to because of the ex- little bit of experience that i have gained in having to experiment and having to venture into parallel art forms as well uh one do maguge thumba sanna maguge navu when we teach alphabet uh, when we teach the letters of the alphabet we try to create a concept in the mind of the child a andre heg barebeko adu ondu one slant line irbeko innond slant line irbeko then there should be a bridge between the two so we are developing a certain con- concept in the mind of the child that if you have to write a you have to write it in this particular fashion and if you have to learn to how, learn how to write a very fast without looking you will have to practice it at least so many pages ali namge barsirtare in our uh, elementary nursery schools i feel that the rote method that we follow in practicing the sarali verses innumerable times in being able to understand the position of the notes is so similar to is actually the way in which we inculcate this concept of where the note should be yesh to frequency nalli adu namma larynx vibrate aagta ide all these things are just getting uh, memorized in the brain in the process of practicing this innumerable times also now sarali versegala progress na nodadaga it is so systematic it is so progressive because first sarali verse is just the placement of notes with reference to your one sa where these notes are in the graph the second sarali verse is you go just one step high which is ri and then you come back to sa sari sari so it's like uh, you are blindfolded one one metle ninda eradne metle ge hogbeku antandre eshtu matte nan kaal ettidre i will place my foot on the second step and if i have to come back how much should i withdraw so even though this exercise is so systematic when you look at how progressive it is sari ga the third sarali verse sari ga ma then pa is a very important landing note so we are giving an additional uh uh weightage to that and saying sari ga ma pa sari so there is an additional note that is given to pa where it wherein you you know that it's an important note as important as sa and it is a landing note adanna nin innon choru you have to land there for one more akshara and then come back so i feel it is very systematic and progressive and the very last sarali verse nalli small little phrases are introduced sir so, ಸ ರಿ ಗ ಮ ಪ ಗ ಮ ಪ ಪ ಗ ಮ ಪ ದ ನಿ ದ ಪ ಮ ಗ ಮ ಪ ಗ ಮ ಗ ರಿ ಸ ಸ ನಿ ದ ನಿ ದ ಪ ದ ಪ ಮ ಪ ಪ ಫ್ರೇಸಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ಅಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಕಾಂಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೋಟಲಿ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಫ್ರೇಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ದಟ್ ಫ್ರೇಸ್ ಮೇ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆವರ್ತನ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದ ಫ್ರೇಸ್ ದ ಫ್ರೇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ವೇರ್ ದಿ ಆವರ್ತನ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಎಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿಗಿನ್ಸ್ ನಾನು ಈ ವಿಷಯಗಳನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಯಾಕೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ವೈ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಇಲ್ಯಾಬೊರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ರೀ ಎಂಫಸೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಸ
probably haven't looked at it from this uh, kind of an elaborate uh, el elementary approach, but we all know all these things. But why I'm saying this is, this understanding and this study, which was ingrained in me so many years ago, has become the foundation for me to be able to analyze another parallel genre which has kind of captured my attention in the last few years, which is jazz. Uh, before that, I would like to uh, make a small demonstration. So this is, this is actually a jazz composition and it is an instrumental composition written by one of the greatest saxophonists of the world, uh, Charlie Parker. Even uh, the composition and the modlo keli, adad nantara hanth hanth vagi na nidr bagge heltni. Since it is an instrumental composition, I will I will be singing it in swaras only. Nisa nida da magari sa niri ma pada nida pa maga paniri da pa. Maga mariri mada saga pa mada da ga ga ni pa maga paniri sa pa da ni ri ma da da ga pa maga ri pa ma ni da pa maga ga ma ma pa maga ri ni ri ma pa da ni da pa maga ri ri ni sa ni ga pa da da pa ma pa ma da sa ga ri sa da ni ri ma pa da ni da pa maga ni sa ni da da ma ga ri sa ni ri ma pa da ni da pa maga pa ni ri da pa ri sa ni sa ri ga ma ga ri sa da ni da pa maga maga ri ni sa. Ma pa ma pa da 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 ni 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 da da pa ma ga ma ga ri ga ma ga ri sa ma da sa ga ma ri sa ni ma ga ri sa ni da pa ma ma pa sa ga ri sa ni pa sa. This is the composition and it's called Donali. E composition na wando uniqueness. What the uniqueness of this composition is that there are uh, multiple places in which the sa actually changes. So if you take the very first phrase, ni ni sa ni da da pa magari should be the note. Ni sa ni da da pa magari if the sa was what, where it began. But at this point the sa changes because the chord changes. So that note becomes ma. Ni sa ni da da ma gari sa ni re ma pa da ni da pa ma ga pa ni re da pa ma ga ma re re pa da sa ga pa ma da da ga ga ni ni pa ma ga pa ni re sa pa da ni re ma da da ga pa ma ga re pa ma ni da pa ma ga ga ma ma pa ma ga re ni re ma pa da ni da pa ma ga re re ni sa ni ga pa da da pa ma pa pa ma da sa ga re sa da ni re ma pa da ni da pa ma ga ni sa ni da da ma ga re sa ni re ma pa da ni da pa ma ga pa ni re da pa re sa ni sa re ga ma ga re sa da ni da pa ma ga ma ga re ni sa now again Ma pa ma pa da 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 ni 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 da da pa ma ga ma ga ri ga ma ga ri sa ma da sa ga ma ri sa ni ma ga ri sa ni da pa ma ma pa sa ga ri sa ni pa sa which was actually the ga 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 pa sa it it actually ma pa ma pa da 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 ni 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 da da pa ma ga ma ga ri ga ma ga ri sa ma da sa ga ma ri sa ni ma so the the gandhara no the madhyama agate and uh, the 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 madhyama that was there initially becomes the uh, the panchama becomes the madhyama now when you have to approach a composition like this it is very confusing because uh, how do you approach it nanage initially i used to uh, deal with a lot of uh, confusion as to what do I call that note. Though uh, at that, for, f I mean, when you, I mean, I always think that why should we actually name a note just the way how, why should we name a lord because he's formless? Why give a form to something, a name to something that is formless? But then uh, you have to for your own reference. And we as Karnati classical mu musicians have the luxury of naming a note. Uh, in, in different uh, uh, genres, 
the names that are given to the notes there are names but we, you cannot they are not uh, andre syllable friendly vocal friendly you can say a minor b minor c you know to to even say that note it takes such a long time so we cannot use it when we are singing the second and the third speeds so we have the luxury of being being able to call it sa ri ga ma and various things so i was thinking that if we can incorporate the basic exercises that we have been introduced to as children to be and uh, um and see how we can approach a composition like this which has a floating sa if we can use the phrase floating sa so that's when i uh kind of went back to my basics and uh, so the first uh, so this these are some of the exercises that i kind of devised which uh are also there in the western classical music but then there are a little there are a little bit of a development on that you could say so that we can as vocalists because uh, in it's now in our tradition the way vocalists can uh, sing uh, solos the way we can solo it's very difficult for vocalists in jazz to solo because of this limitation that they have to what to call they can they can scat wherein they just use random syllables for lack of being able to name and call it something but because we have the luxury of identifying a particular note with a name i thought we can use this it is very experimental and uh, it is always open it's it's actually work in progress so my first uh, approach is that you attempt this when the if you take a particular scale sa re ga ma pa da ni sa for the convenience we'll call it we'll use shankara bharanam sa re ga ma pa da ni sa then you have to train your brain to just go one half a step ardha mane matra mele hogi to consider re one as the sa and practice it so sa re ga ma pa da ni sa 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 and uh, why i got this idea was that that is the way we do sari 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 ga ma and the next step is you go one step higher one one mane sari ga ma pa da ni sa sari sari ga ma pa da ni sa sari sari ga ma pa da ni sa sari sari ga ma pa da ni sa so what we are actually what we are actually telling our brain is that how we were taught sari ga admele sa ge barbeku hege barbeku we taught our brain in a particular fashion we understood that distance we understood what the distance between those two notes is and we trained our brain we developed a muscle memory we uh, mastered with practice that way we have to we we use the same uh, same theory but in this floating sa so now we move so we do this with every half a step so sa ri then sa ga and then sa ga sa ma sa ma so it's actually becoming sa 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 so you're considering everything your sa but you are you are training your brain that there even if the, it has to float between two sa's you are still safe you know where to come back the next step a development on this is to be able to sing a particular scale phrase in in one scale and sing the avarohana matra in the ardha mane increase maadi so sa re ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni da pa ma ga ri sa sa re ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni da pa ma ga ri sa sa re ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni da pa ma ga ri sa sa re ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni da pa ma ga ri sa sa re ga ma pa da ni sa and so on and so forth so uh, why this is important and uh, i will explain and and uh, okay there is a little more of an idea that i got when we were practicing alankaras where we are uh, made to uh, practice patterns one particular pattern 14 aksharas pattern we would have kind of known we would have been so comfortable with it because we have done uh, mishra jati uh, chaturashra jati dhruvatala 
exercise we have done because we have done it so many times we know how to sing 14 ak akshras we know even before somebody tells us we know sari ga ma gari sari gari sari ga ma is 14 akshras and we are so comfortable in that counting that so to be able to count like that to me to be able to make form uh, patterns like that sari ga after that the ma becomes the sa sari ga sari ga sari ga sari ga you know to be able to just change the sa like that and sing the same pattern the same pattern the same pattern repeats only thing is like it is changing on a guitar fret what started in c probably becomes the same in c uh, in uh, the madhyama of c and then the madhyama of that note and the madhyama of that note and we start singing like that so why it is why it was important for me to go uh, and understand this and probably develop a basic approach is one of the compositions that i sing in one of the bands initially when i started singing with this band about 3 years ago was that there is a particular chord change that happens uh, and for four counts each chord exists and uh, the notes of that the that cycle were ta ra so the first will be ta the second chord change will be ta the second the third chord change will be ta ra ra and the way i would approach it is that initially i didn't know how to approach it so i just thought i will make a raga out of those notes and the way it came to my head and i would just make a raga and i would sing it i would still keep my tonic the same so ग पद स नि द पगरे गरि सरे गाग ग पद स नि द प म ग म रे म ग ग सो दिस इज द वे आई अप्रोच इट इनिशियली देन आई रियलाइज दैट नाउ इफ आई कैन प्रैक्टिस अ लिटिल मोर एंड एक्चुअली सिंग टेक्निकली with with uh, i mean uh, auditorily uh, and uh, orally for a listener this is very ranjakiya vagide but it is technically not the way it is supposed to be sung because you have to highlight the sa so in order to uh, to be able to sing a solo on chord changes which have these notes i thought this approach of first singing half a semitone then then one full tone then again one and a half semitones is an approach is a method to uh, to actually crack it so then that's when i realized that that sa 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 can actually be trained by the mi mind you tell your brain that that is not ga that is sa and you tell your brain that is sa then this can also be sa sa so when you train yourself like that and you use one particular raga to begin with sa sa re ma pa ni sa ni pa ma re sa sa re ma pa ni sa ni pa ma re sa sa re ma pa ni sa ni pa ma re sa sa re ma pa ni sa ni pa ma re sa so to be able to float the sa to be able to move in between the various tonics uh, all we have to say is call it differently only uh, we just call it name it differently it is probably um it is probably the luxury that we have as carnatic classical musicians and after this i kind of uh, see because what happens normally in a fusion concert uh, circuit or um, thing is that even if you sing a solo by just keeping one sa as constant nobody is really going to question you nobody is going to put a knife and say why did you do that but then we have something called a conscience so we at least we should know that we are doing at least attempting to do some amount of to just of justice to it so i realized that if we train our brain to be able to listen to what the chord changes and pick up that particular note and sing a phrase from any note that that is for example if sari ga pa da sa da da ba ga pa da sa da da ba ga ri sa ri ga ri ri sa da sa ri ga sa ri ga pa sa ri ga pa da sa da da ba ga pa da sa da da ba ga da ba ga ri ga ba ga ri sa 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 da ba ga pa da sa da da ba da sa ri ga ri ri sa da sa ri ga pa da sa sa ri ga pa da sa ba da sa da sa ri ga ri ri sa da sa da da ba sa da ba ga pa da sa sa da ba da sa ri ri sa da sa ri ga ri sa ri sa da to just be able to hear a particular note that is there in the chord chain and to be able to change it on the fly 
and uh, after this uh, it uh, i got a little more adventurous and i said why just stick to one particular raga and uh, why not just <laughs> change the raga uh, because uh, actually in the chord there is a color of a particular raga that st st stands out so like um, sa ga pa re ma da ga pa ni pa re sa pa ni sa so if there is this is the movement of the chord then uh, why don't you change the raga with with respect to all the changes that you hear uh, of course i don't have the uh, the keyboard is now but i can just sing randomly whatever note i can land on and sing any raga from any note to break free basically of all the the seven uh, octave structure and to get out of it to break free of it and I, even before i demonstrate that i want to explain another thing i want to just tell you another thing that actually this has been existent in carnatic music and it has been experimented also we all do it in kalyani we do panchama varja and we sing uh, mohana so actually we we don't uh, in that way i don't know which musician actually started that whole uh, uh, that that chamatkar or whatever when it was created but we do it we have been doing it for the longest time and we call it by various names swara bheda gargraha bheda we have this concept in our culture it's just that for our uh, uh, culture the technicality the expertise uh, with respect to laya bhava and all these things that we have to achieve this lifetime is not sufficient so we cannot actually float the sa also and uh, kind of uh, kind of do that so i i i the achieve the, the 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 amount of time and the effort and the practice that goes into achieving uh, the expertise in this this one octave itself this lifetime is uh, is not enough and uh, so uh, this this last uh, concept that i told you about wherein we change the sa from different points and we can sing different ragas i'll just give you a small demonstration sa sa ri ga ma pa ga re sa ga ma pa sa ri ga pa da sa da pa ga pa ga re sa ni sa ga re sa ni sa da ma pa ga sa re ma pa ni sa pa ni sa ri sa ni pa sa sa da ma ga ma da ni da re sa ri ga pa da pa ga re ga re sa da sa sa ri sa ni pa sa ni pa ma ga ma pa ni pa ni sa ni pa ni sa ga sa ri sa ga re ga sa ri ni sa da ni da sa ni re sa ri ni sa da sa sa ri ma sa ri ga ma pa da pa ma ga ri ga ma pa ma ga ri ga ma ga ri sa ni sa ri ga ma ga ri ni da sa ri ma pa da pa ma ri sa ni sa ri ma pa ni pa ma ri sa sa ri ma pa ni pa ga ma ri ni da sa ga pa da ni da ma ri sa ri sa so to just uh, uh, be able to sing uh, whatever raga just comes to your mind but to be i aware of where the where that scale is what the octave is and uh, actually in uh, this uh, of course in kalyani uh, we only sing from re but then from all the notes we can have pentatonic five note scales so sa re ga ma pa da ni sa ni da pa ma ga re sa re ga ma da ni re sa da pa ga re sa sa re ga ma da ni re ga sa ni pa ma re pa re sa ga re sa re ga ma ma da ni re ga ma sa ni da ma ga sa ma ga ma sa ga ni sa da ni sa ma ga re sa re ga ma da da ni re ga ma da ni da re sa re pa ma re sa re ma re sa da sa da pa ma pa da sa re da sa re ma pa da pa re sa da ni ni da ma ga re ni sa ga ma pa ni sa ni sa pa ma ma ga sa ni sa ga ni sa ni pa ma pa ga ma pa ni pa ni ni sa sa ni da pa ma ga re sa so from every note there it is uh, quite possible to uh, do these uh, uh, do these uh, improvisations now um, this concept is also why i was attracted to this concept was that because this there is this concept of singing uh, shuddha dhanyasi in kalyani 
in uh, the jazz uh, uh, discipline as well. And I was introduced to it by one of my mentors and uh, one of the most senior uh, guitarist, Mr. Sanjay Divecha. So when uh, I was introduced to this, uh, he told me that this particular scale is actually called the blue scale with just an addition of a pratimadhyama. So, uh, sa, sa gama pani sa nipama ga sa. I'll take a slightly higher key. Sa gama pani sa nipama ga sa ni sa ma ma ga sa ga sa. This is, this particular scale was so uh, attractive to so many musicians that there is a whole genre of music called the blues genre. Uh, which is actually something that is the foundation for jazz. Sa sa ga ma pa ni pa ma ga sa ni sa ma ma ga sa ga sa. Ta ra 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 ta ra ra ta ra ta ta ra ri ta ra 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 ri ta ra 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 ta 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 ra ta. I put a spell on you. Ta ba ra ba pa ri ta ra 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 ba pa pa ta ra ta. I put a spell on you. Pa ra pa pa ra 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 ta ta. Cause you're mine. You make me go round and round, round and round. Ta ra pa ra pa ra 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 ta ri ra ta ta ri ra ra ta ra ra pa ra 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 ta ra ta. This is uh, one of the ways in which I think uh, my understanding of the melodic structure of the basics of melodic structure of Carnatic music has helped me in understanding something that is uh, parallelly existent over so many years, but something that I was not exposed to and something that I had to kind of learn um, uh, when I was just put into it. Uh, another approach towards it is the rhythmic approach how the rhythmic, uh, uh, the basics of rhythm that has been introduced to me as a child and as a, uh, in my impressionable age, at a very young formative years, Nali, the kind of training that I received and the kind of understanding that I was exposed to, I think uh, uh, that uh, helped me understand one particular, uh, there are various things in which I'll just briefly tell you what I uh, was able to understand. One was the, uh, approach of, uh, one was the division of uh, 12 in the flamenco style of singing. Uh, so the flamenco is actually the Spanish uh, genre of singing and playing the playing and then there is also the art form of dance. So this, in this cycle, the 12, no, the 12 uh, beats are divided as 7 and 5 and this is how I had, have deciphered it and then uh, the, they are further subdivided as 3, 4, 2 and Three. So, it is actually, it became very easy to me le to learn that because uh, we are introduced to these concepts at a very basic elementary level. Uh, and uh, I think in my 20, 21st year, uh, Sudindra sir had taught me a Dvinade Pallavi uh, of uh, uh, Trishra Nade in the first half and Khanda Nade in the second half. Uh, to be able to, I feel it is my, uh, my uh, honor and I feel it is my bless, I'm, I feel I'm a blessed person person to have been exposed to this at such a young age because uh, today when I'm 37 I'm not I mean I am uh, able to uh, sing these things with ease and uh, I, I have been looked up in the eyes of uh, my fellow musicians uh, just because of this training that I have had and to be able to divide it takes practice to be able to hold that, but then to be able to understand that you can divide that 12 in this, I mean, the way they are at dancing is actually you are, you, they are dividing, dividing it in the, this particular way and you can still keep the time and you can still sing. 
Gamapa mapa gapa magari magari sani sagari magapa magari gama badani da ba ma da ba magari gama bada badani sani da badani sari sari sani da ba ma da ba magari gama da ba ba is something that you can do because you know that this is what our basics have taught us and uh, another thing uh, there are uh, there are concepts of um, polyrhythms and there then there is concept of avadhana again which you i was introduced to at a very uh, formative year though i didn't really try avadhana on the platform i knew what it is like so there was this one uh, uh, composition wherein it was written in viloma chapu which uh, gave me the inspiration to say that uh, why not make a pattern of uh, parmishra chapu and viloma chapu and present it so uh, something that i just experimented out of interest was that to be able to sing uh, so uh, you you just put mishra chapu in this and you put viloma chapu in this and then you make a pattern out of it and then you are able to sing it with ease so here it is takita tak dimi here it is tak dimi takita pa ma pa ga ma pa da pa ma ga ri sa ni sa ri ga ma pa da pa ma ga ta you know something like this this kind of an approach is possible uh, because uh, because of how great actually our system of education is our system of uh, learning is um and then there are of course other uh, polyrhythms also that i was kind of intrigued to try one was to be able to divide uh, this is a pattern which is uh, presented by a very famous drummer called uh, horatio hernandez and uh, the way 12 is divided is like this ta thing ta ta thing ta thing ta ta thing so actually in his right hand he plays this with the kick drum he plays a, a division of four threes and then with his left hand he plays three fours so it it's something like i just uh, i just practice this out of interest to be able to understand that this is how uh, polyrhythm speak i mean the ability to be able to appreciate i think uh, it is our art form is such that we can both uh, adopt and adapt so the ability to be able to practice well and to adapt to any style of singing and to adopt anything from any other culture into the culture and to be able to experiment i think that is the greatness of our uh, art form um i will just uh, move a little closer home and uh, this is a mainly about the technical aspects and uh, how the basics have helped me understand uh, rhythmic patterns and melodic patterns of different other uh, genres so to talk about uh, the content wise the lyric wise uh, because of uh the training that i've had in uh, uh singing because of the exposure that i've had to sing uh, singing in bhajans and singing um uh, you know uh, multiple things experimenting multiple things in the devotional genre itself like uga bhogas and you know devarnamas and uh, singing uh, singing a little bit of uh, bhajans and stuff like that there is a certain sense of uh relate to it that something that you can relate to when you hear something that is a little closer lyric wise and also a little bit of it genre wise so i'll present to you first uh, a composition that is very close to punjabi folk called tappa or punjabi devotional as well because the the content is very uh, devotional the lyrical content is devotional but i have chosen a, a vachana in this and uh, uh you will know that if you observe it you will know that the movement of the notes is very similar to that of the movement of the harmonium phrases gariga ma pa ga ma gari sa ni ri sa ni da va ni sa ga ma pa ga ma ga ma pa ni pa ni sa ni sa gari sa ni sa da da pa ma pa ga ma ga ma so to to be able to move like that like just like the notes of a harmonium uh, or has how a harmonium artist would actually treat it this is a little bit of blend of folk as well so mm, na nolide nayya chaluvange na nolide nayya चलुवंगे 
ಇಲ್ಲದ ಚಲುವಂಗೆ ಭವವಿಲ್ಲದ ಭವಂಗೆ ಭವವಿಲ್ಲದ ಭವಂಗೆ ಭವವಿಲ್ಲದ ಭವಂಗೆ ಭವವಿಲ್ಲದ ಭವಂಗೆ ಭವವಿಲ್ಲದ ಅಭವಂಗೆ ಇಫ್ ಯು ನೋಟಿಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಗಬ ಗಬ ನಿ ಸರಿ ನಿ ಪಗ ಪಗ ಗರಿ ರಿ ಸರಿ ಸರಿ ನಿ ಪಗ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಜಂಟಿ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಸ ಸರಿ ರಿ ಗ ಸರಿ ಗ ಸರಿ ರಿ ಗ ಗಮ ಮರಿ ರಿ ಗ ಗಮ ರಿ ರಿ ಗಮ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಯು ನೋ ಸಂಬೇರ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ಇಟ್ ದ ಟ್ರೈನಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಗಿವನ್ ಟು ಅಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಯು ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೋರ್ ಮೋರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಯು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಓಪನಿಂಗ್ ದ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದೋಸ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹ್ಯೂಜ್ ಬಿಗ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಓಪನಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಈಚ್ ಆಫ್ ದೋಸ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಅನಲೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಸಿ ದಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಪುಟ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಪ್ಲಾಟರ್ ವಿ ವರ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಸೀಟ್ ಎಟ್ ದಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಟು ಅಸ್ ಸಾವಿಲ್ಲದ ಸಹಜಂಗೆ ಭವವಿಲ್ಲದ ಭವಂಗೆ ಚನ್ನ ಚನ್ನ ಮಲ್ಲಿಕಾರ್ಜುನನೇ ಗಂಡನಗೆ ಚನ್ನ ಮಲ್ಲಿಕಾರ್ಜುನನೇ ಗಂಡನಗೆ ಮಿಕ್ಕಿದ ಲೋಕದ ಮಿಕ್ಕಿದ ಲೋಕದ ಗಂಡರನಗೆ ಗಂಡ ಗೆ ಸಂಬಂಧವಿಲ್ಲವಯ್ಯ ಸಂಬಂಧವಿಲ್ಲವಯ್ಯ ನಾನುಲಿದನಯ್ಯ ಚನ್ನ ಮಲ್ಲಿಕಾರ್ಜುನನಿಗೆ ಮಲ್ಲಿಕಾರ್ಜುನನಿಗೆ ಚನ್ನ there is a uh, there is a format called tappa if you can uh, google it sometime or youtube it you will be able to listen to it it's uh, um, this influence has actually come from master salim's rendition of a very famous composition called gamavara charaka you can also uh, go and uh, refer to that um i will i would like to conclude it with a last uh, genre which has always intrigued me so much because of the similarities it, that it has with our bhajan style of singing and also uh, the interpretation of bhajans itself in the devarnama uh, bracket the way i have been uh, uh, taught in uh, to sing uh, bhajans uh, to sing devarnamas and to create all the elements in that and uh, this is my uh, interpretation of a kavali with a lot of so we, i i think when you listen to it you will also find its similarities to be able to kind of um a pres- uh, to pre- uh, to uh, prefix with or uh, noga bhoga so i will be singing a sufi naz after which i'll be singing this kavali and i will be concluding this ah piya ಪಲಕ ಢಾಪ ತೋಹೇಲು ಆಣ ಮೇ ಪಲಕ ಢಾಪ ತೋಹೇಲು ನಮ ದೇಖು ಗರ ಕೋ ನ ಸುರ್ಮಾಲಗಾಯ ಜರ ಡಾರು ಕಿರ 
कि राजो सुरमा लगाए जान में पी बसे तो जिन नैन में पी बसे तो दूजा कौन छप तिलक सब छीनी रे मोसे नैना मिले के छप तिलक सब छीनी रे मोसे नैना मिले के छप तिलक सब छीनी रे मोसे नैना मिले के छप तिलक सब छीनी रे मोसे नैना मिले के बात अगम कर दी धीरे मोसे नैना मिले के छप तिलक सब छीनी रे मोसे नैना मिले के बात अगम कर दी धीरे मोसे नैना मिले के छप तिलक सब चीनी रे मोसे नैना मिले के नैना मिले के नैना मिले के बल बल जाओ मैं तोरे रंग रजवा 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 भैया पकर हर ली रे मोसे नैना मिले के भैया पकर हर ली रे मोसे नैना मिले के भैया पकर हर ली रे मोसे नैना मिले के भैया पकर हर ली रे मोसे नैना मिले के छप तिलक सब छीने रे मोसे नैना मिले के नैना मिले के नैना मिले के आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक एवरीबडी फॉर लिसनिंग सो पेशेंटली एंड आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक माई गुरु जी श्री एच एस सुधींद्रा सर फॉर गिविंग मी दिस ऑपरचुनिटी टू प्रेजेंट दिस to you thank you she'll just sing a small film song for one one minute any any film song first 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 tere dide mane o baati thi ho sabela ki na ho sagaliya ho sabalanu ta ati thi ಬೆಳದಿಂಗಳ ನೋಡ ಬೆಳದಿಂಗಳ ನೋಡು ಬೆಳದಿಂಗಳ ನೋಡ ಬೆಳದಿಂಗಳ ನೋಡು ಗೋಧೂಳಿ ಲಗ್ನ ಕಾಯಿತ್ತ ಕೈಯ ಹಿಡಿದಿತ್ತ ಕೈಯ ಹಿಡಿದಿತ್ತ ಗಂಧಕಿ ಚಂದ್ರ ಜೋಡ ಬೆಳದಿಂಗಳ ನೋಡ ಚಂದ್ರಕಿ ಚಂದ್ರಮರ ಜೋಡ ಬೆಳದಿಂಗಳ ನೋಡ ದನ ಕರೆದ ಕಾಲಿನ ಧೂಳಿ ಸಂಜೆಯ ಹೂಳಿ ಮುಗಿಲ ಮೂಟ್ಯಾದ ಮುಗಿಲ ಮೂಟ್ಯಾದ ಮುಗಿಲ ಮೂಟ್ಯಾದ ಬೆಳದಿಂಗಳ ನೋಡ ಬೆಳದಿಂಗಳ ನೋಡು ದರ್ದ ಕೇರಿಷ್ಟೆ ನ ಕರಡಾಲೆ ಉಸೆ ಬೇಕಲ್ ಕಹಿ ಹೋಸ್ ಸಾಲ ಕುಛ ಜಲ ಧಲ ಕಹಿ ದರ್ದ ಕೇರಿಷ್ಟೆ ರಿಷ್ಟೆ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು